Howdy. Hey, Mike, before we get started um, yep. on the video topic for today, we're going to have a couple. I have a question. The other day you mentioned you have a buy box deep dive coming up. Mm. And I have my notes ready. Can you tell <laughs> me what this is about so I can be ready for it? There you go. So, you know, obviously you guys know I, I took a month off uh, traveling around Southeast Asia. And, you know, when you're doing that kind of cruise, you have these things called sea days, right? Where you're just on the boat, all of that. So one of the things I did on one of the sea days is, is I got quiet for about six to eight hours contemplating what we've done here, us collectively, all of my millionaires, right? Because I really do think one rental at a time is about the collective genius of the eight or nine millionaires of which you, you two are the biggest two of that. So thank you. But I also thought about the course, the questions, where I could do more, where we can update things. Because as you know, we've added lots of bonus content and things. But the anchor of, of one rental at a time is a buy box in daily discipline. So, you know, I think one of the things that was obvious when I was quiet with myself and out of the day to day and doing six videos a day and all of that was that is gold, right? It is everything to everyone. At least that's where they should start. But I don't think I give it enough attention. And I don't think I've had the opportunity in a collective group to just answer any and all questions until they're done. So uh, I, that became a goal of mine, right? Is to get something set up where we could have lots of people asking their questions in real time. And let's be clear, remove all the haters and trolls and all that stuff that sometimes come up when you do lives. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I have decided to do a two hour session online. It's paid. It's uh -huh. in my opinion, cheap at $47. Uh -huh. It's limited at a hundred. And probably the most important thing I did at the end is I made it an, a meeting, not a webinar. Uh -huh. Why is that important to me? A webinar means I can present out and I can interact with chat. Basically a meeting means I can, if the audience participates with me, uh -huh. give them control and share their spreadsheet, look at their things, look at their realtor or Redfin or whatever they're using to search. So I want to make this hands-on. I want to make this two-way communications and I want to exhaust buy box questions. Uh -huh. My hope is that's 60 to 75 minutes. The reason I made it two hours is I want to go to the next step <laughs> of adding, building the base spreadsheet because the buy box becomes the frozen thing that's hit every day, but it's the transition of what net changes to the spreadsheet that is interesting. The spreadsheet's important. That's where the lessons are learned. That's where the holes in your education are learned. And, you know, so I'm hoping to hit those two things and I'm excited. Uh, I do things cheaply, right? My course is 390 or 319. It's supposed to be 399. I've been too lazy to change it. It will change soon. But we're going to do this at 47. It will cap out at 100. We've, as of this morning, 29 seats are sold already. I expect it to sell out. Uh -huh. But that that's that's kind of why. I mean, Dion, you came to me way, way back at the beginning because of the buy box. And I'm like, you know, I think we need to go deeper. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, let me know. If I'm crazy, if I'm missing things, what we should cover, I'd love your guys' feedback. Go ahead, Dion. So I, I like it. I have two questions. First, what date is it? Oh, it's Sunday, the uh, 26th, I believe. 8 to 10 a.m. Pacific. And how do you sign up? Where do you go for that? So there's an Eventbrite link, which I put in the description. I'll put it in the description. I'll put it on a pen, pen link. But if you go to Eventbrite, just search Michael Zuber or One Rental at a Time, you'll see it there. But yeah, there's awesome. an event bright link. Thank you. Cool. I'm looking All forward right. to that. I had a, a question come up this morning of, it was a cash on cash question. So I'll be researching that. But mm -hmm. what's changed in the buy box between 2019 and 2023? Mm -hmm. We're in very different worlds now. Sure. So. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of that, uh, this, this, is, this is why I wanted it to be big. Because I could have eliminated, I could have made it 20 people and charged a lot of money. It would have sold out easy. But I wanted lots of folks. I wanted to give them control. 
And I just want to go deep because I don't know if you guys sense this, but we get the we get about eighty percent of the same questions with subtle tweaks. Mm-hmm. I know I, I suspect I would love to be surprised that I've answered any and all buy box questions that I will get Sunday, but they're in as Dion likes to say seventeen hundred videos that aren't you know right. I don't organize anything. I've done ten thousand videos. If you want to look at them all. I assume you'll find the answers, but I want one video with all of this. And the other thing that I have been asked, a lot of people want to attend, but can't Sunday church, this, that, the other. My intention is to record it and give it away at the same price, right? Sell it at the same price. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have the caveat that I want to make the sound and the video quality good. Uh, You know, as of today, I don't know if people can realize, but my mic isn't working for some reason. So we're using the computer mic. So we apologize for that, Mm -hmm. but... uh, yeah, that's 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 what I think. What do you think, Matt? You you do a lot of live streams for three hours at a time, which has always been crazy to me. You're going to be longer than two hours. <laughs> be, but yeah. I think, but I think the most important thing is it is when people learn from video, and we've experienced this in my course. When people learn from video, they do a good job of understanding and implementing and being able to ask questions. But the people that are in our boot camp are much further along because it's all the same language. It's all the same exercise. It's iron sharpening iron with other people in the course where it's not even my interjecting. It's other people in the course saying, Hey, this is what I did and sharing that stuff. So I think that sent that, that level of community, I think is important, but I think when we make ourselves available to actually take people through things step by step, and reconcile any of the questions or issues or concepts or ideas that they're not quite in alignment with. I think that that makes it reality for them because now they're like, okay, now from the guy who basically wrote this thing, Hmm. now I've got, I've got all my questions answered. All of those things were interpreted for me. I now completely understand it. And that's always the real issue, right? Is that you don't know what you don't know. And then people who buy courses, they, you know, they start off and they go through the course and they're like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm eons past where I was true. Yeah. But how long do you have to use something like that until it becomes behavior, till it becomes habit that then you become the expert in your market, not the people that you hire. Yeah. And so I think, I think that's going to bridge the gap for folks in that. And I think that's the most valuable thing. It would not surprise me at all. To look at the, you know, whatever, the hundred people that sign up for that, it would not surprise me at all. If the hundred people that sign up for that, you look at the deals they did in the last 12 months and look at the deals they in the next 12 months, and you will likely see a two to 300% increase yeah. because people far better understand exactly what they're looking for. And then they can make those tweaks as they go because they don't just memorize what's there. They mm-hmm. understand the substance of what is underlying to the approach. Yeah, I think I think for me, I'm just I'm playing this out in real time with two friends, right? The things that that I hope come out of this at the end is people really understand when I say learn average, what yeah. that means. Sure. Because when you look at buy box and daily discipline, all I promise you is you will learn average. That's mm-hmm. the goal. Mm-hmm. It doesn't promise a deal. Right. But it promises you've learned your market, you know what an average deal is. And then it's upon you to see how you can play with the variables. Like I sometimes challenge folks, like for example, folks that have the buy box in the course, take one of your deals today. Let's say it's 8%, whatever it is, what variables can you change to increase the yield 2%? Could be price, could be down payment, could be rent, could be expenses. There's all kinds of variables. So I hope people see the flexibility. Like one of the things I love when people do is they take a house, one, two, three main street, 6.2%. They copy that row four times. And then they play with variables, mortgage payment, down payment, and they just see how the the yield just goes all over the place. Yep. That is the power. That that forces you to think different. And that's why I, the three of us are successful because we know all the different things we can pull that drives that, I call it yield, you call it return on capital. Dion sometimes calls it cash on cash. It's all the same thing. Money in, money out. It's it's different than that though, Mike. And this is where this is where I will celebrate our difference. Perfect. You want to show them what an average deal is. Mm-hmm. I want to make sure that they don't buy a bad deal, right? right. Mm-hmm. That's what your approach does. 
it's not even about getting a great deal. It's making sure you don't do a bad one. That's because I, if, I, yeah, right. I've never if, thought that is absolutely correct. If you don't do a bad deal, if you do a bad deal, what do we all know that means? You're DQ'd from two years, three years, five years. You're done, especially yeah. in this market. Ugh. Right. Yeah. You're if right. you, if you do a deal that was too skinny and you were making two and a half points on it, I don't care if your market, if that's a great deal, if you're making two and a half points, you're going to get treasuries. crushed. Yeah, you're going to get crushed. Yeah. And so I think you're being able to give them that evaluation point is critical. If yeah. I could spend 47 bucks and be able to know that the deal that I'm looking at is a bad deal, who it's, wouldn't spend 47 bucks to avoid a bad deal? You're right. Uh, I've never positioned it that way and should. You're, it's insurance I'm, policy. You're absolutely it's, right. I mean, hey, listen, do any of us have car insurance? Yeah, I got a lot of insurance. Right? Does do any of us do any of us have a jack in our trunk and a spare tire? No, I don't want to ever have to use it, but I sure am happy that it's there. Yeah, and of course Dion doesn't have one. I bet he doesn't have a spare tire. He would just yeah. My again, car doesn't come with a spare yeah. tire. I don't know. Exactly. I'm sure he would just be like, no, no, no. If I changed it myself, that wouldn't be lazy. I have. To <laughs> I got this thing called AAA and Mercedes Benz <laughs> for Elite but, Gold. Blah blah blah. But yeah, Mike, I think that people are missing it when they think that this is how to buy a great deal. No, I, I, it's going to give you that. You're, you're, but you're this, so is, right. this is this is how you avoid yeah. doing a deal that kills you. This is how you avoid doing a deal that you look at it and you go, oh, what a bad experience. Real estate sucks. Landlords are morons. You bought I don't a see how they deal, make money. Yeah. Exactly. It was your fault. You bought a bad deal because you didn't understand how to buy a good one. Oh, that's so good. I had never thought of it that way. I'm always focused on the, you know, the other side of the coin. But you're always right. focused on the positive side. I'm negative. There we go. <laughs> that's that's why the ham and egg is so good. Yeah, Dion, yeah. you know what? Bring us home. This was your question. Uh, I think this is going to be a killer event, not only because I'll help 100 people, but it'll allow me, just like this conversation, to to go next level. So th that's that's the why, the how, the when stuff. Well, that's what I like about it, and that's kind of actually why I wanted to ask the question. What I really like is is you know. It's, it's weird to say this because I'm an investor, you're an investor, we've all bought real estate, we're re to reach financial freedom, we're trying to share that with people. So people call us content creators. Mm -hmm. The problem with being a content creator is there's information we want to share. That doesn't mean it's the information everybody wants to hear. So when you're in a format like that, where they're on the Zoom call with you, their question drives what you're going to talk about. You get to actually make content that right then in that moment, not only that person asked, but other people are going to realize they didn't even know to ask that question. Yeah, that's so awesome. Well, thank you for asking. I was not prepared for that, but I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all of our channels. The three amigos come together on one rental at a time, but we are great individually as well. Lumberjack, sure. what is your channel? Lumberjack Landlord on YouTube and on Instagram. Lots of fun daily updates. Yeah, if you want hands-on stuff in property management, he is your man. Don't come to me because my answer is call your property manager. I have no idea. Dion, what is your channel? You can find me right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom. Awesome, buddy. Thanks again.